I am told by my speak a uh, few minutes on livelihood. As uh, we heard uh, this girl, uh, you know about livelihood issues, you know just a uh, few minutes back. Uh, see, India's nomadic and denotified tribes. I mean, nomadism means their culture, their civilization, their livelihood. In this lockdown, we are trying to understand their issues actually within this lockdown. I mean, people who are moving from one who move from one place to another place for their livelihood. In this kind of livelihood, in this kind of lock, lockdown, they are completely stuck. I'm just giving you example. For example, snake charmers. You know, they move from one place to another place for their livelihood. Now they are stuck into the villages, or you know, uh, in the ghettos, in the city, in different cities wherever they are living. Like nut, uh, as uh, this girl was saying, uh, in in Gujarat, nut don't practice uh, 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 you know prostitution uh, tradition, but they walk on the roof, uh, they uh, they perform on the streets, so they are not able to go outside. So I mean, most of nomadic tribes and most of denotified tribes work is you know their livelihood is. Depend on the moving from one place to another place. Now that stop. A, B. There is no government help because since many days and since 15 to 20 days, we are facing problem in Ahmedabad kind of city, which is a, like a model, uh, you know, city uh, for entire India in the, in the model in the Gujarat model. We are facing the problems. The DNT is facing the problems. You know, getting the ration in Ahmedabad city. I mean, we can imagine that what is happening in the rural area. People who are living in Manilagar area, which is a political constituency of Narendra Modi, you know, they are not getting the ration. So, how people can get the ration from the ration shop, you know, in the rural area? We found that most of BNT families they don't have document. I mean, the ration card or the Aadhaar card or APL or BPL. Most of BNT families. Because I think most of Dalit communities they have BPL cards, but BNPs, I think policy wise they don't fall into the BPL, you know, category. They, that is the reason that they are not getting the ration. So we are trying, uh, you know, uh, our best to meet out, you know, this ration problem within an Ahmedabad. But this is the portion of like 70 lakhs people are living in Gujarat and 60 million people. Are you know uh, living uh, this nomadic and diversified tribes in India? So what? I mean, that's that is that is out of imagination what they are you know facing people who are, who are moving from one place and now they are stuck uh, you know into the one place. That is the one thing. Uh, another uh, issue I want to share that you know people. This is a Dabgar community uh, in Ahmedabad. They are depend on selling the maps. On the streets of Ahmedabad uh, and in Delhi, now there they could not go outside. Two, two people, two persons die because of hunger, because we are not able to send the you know uh, uh, you know, the help uh, timely, because they were living in Batwa area and these two people they move from their place. To another place, and we were not able to reach to these people because of this all, you know, police brutality, and you know, there is no permission from the government. We tried to contact collector, you know, local authorities, but there is no, no possibility at all to move, even from my home or from you know uh, anybody actually to go and uh, to send the help. So I think livelihood is not just for the DNP, but I think for all middle class and for everybody in the country at the moment is the problem. Specifically for the DNP people, you know, the community I belong, their 60 percent people depend on the brewing the liquor. Now I know it's a Gujarat is a dry state; it's an illegal uh, activity. But that's uh, unfortunately people have to do that for their survival because there is no acceptance. Now that is also stopped. There is a 24 hours police roundup. Now where I am living, people are, I mean, starving, and I never saw that people actually come to anybody else, you know, uh, house and they ask, uh, you know, for the ration. But now that is happening. 
So in nutshell, I just want to say that if it, it is happening in the Ahmedabad kind of city, which is a, like a model city for entire India, we can imagine that what is happening in the different part of the country. Thank you so much.